Cheetah Plains is the home of the red crested Korhan. There are so many of them about. Here we go. Tried to hide, but didn't fully manage it. One of the things that we managed to catch on camera once, briefly a couple of weeks ago, was the display of the red crested Korhan, the flight display where they fly up into the air and then tumble out of the sky. And I've only managed to, to get it on camera once. Look at this steady stalk. Really slowly moving. So for our new viewers, this is a red crested Korhan related to a family of birds known as the Bustards, which includes in its members the largest, the heaviest flying bird. We could see them out here, it's called a Cory Bustard. I haven't seen any of them, I'm not sure whether they've been, I think they have been seen on the live drives before. <laughs> Love this, this sneak, like it's, it, if it moves really slowly we won't actually be able to see where it is. Stopping to have a jolly good clean. Those feathers are so beautiful. In combination. I know, of course, the brightly coloured birds always get the majority of the attention when it comes to beauty, but I always find that these sort of feather patterns are also equally gorgeous to look at if you look closely. Now, the red crest sits under that sort of greyish patch on the top of his head, and you hardly ever get to see it unless they're in full display mode trying to intimidate a rival or impress a lady. And I've only seen it a few times myself and I've definitely never seen it on our live safaris. We've never been able to put it on camera. Oh, stretch out and have a jolly good fluff. And of course all of those feather movements, you know, think about the muscle work that goes into that in order to pull each and every feather up and fluff itself up like that. The intricacies of their design. Oh. oh, you know, the last time we saw a red-crested Korhan do its display, it was because we sat patiently and watched it call a few times. Maybe that's what we should do now. I'm listening to see if there's a male responding, because that would be what would trigger a flight display from this bird. You can, I'm not sure if you could hear the clicks in the beginning of that call. They have a sort of a bull snap before they go into the full whistling call. Unfortunately, I don't have my bird calls with me, so I can't call back to him. And as you know, my attempts at mimicking any of the animals out here are usually spectacularly poor. I don't think my Korhan impression is going to be enough to tempt him into doing the flight display. One more time for us. Let's see, if he calls again then we'll sit patiently and we'll see if he doesn't do that flight display. There he goes again. <laughs> Such a pity we couldn't get the full view of his face there because it's entertaining to watch them do their call. But you can see how much of the body's the bird's body actually goes into making that sound from the bull snaps in the beginning to the the fluttering of the syrinx or the, the bird's voice box am i imagining i'm hearing something else <laughs> 